number 5. India plan to activate a new data reception and tracking station in Vietnam. The Indian Space Research Organization or ISRO has set up a data reception and tracking and telemetry station in Ho Chi Minh City, of Vietnam. After activation it will be linked with another station in Bai Aken, Indonesia. This effort is part of India's Look East policy. Number 4. India's Look East policy represents its efforts to cultivate extensive economic and strategic relations with the nations of Southeast Asia. The goal is to bolster its standing as a regional power, and use it as counterweight to the strategic influence of China. Technically, it covers all countries of Asia-Pacific region, but in practical terms, it has been confined to only Southeast Asia or the member nations of ASEAN. The 10-member ASEAN consists of Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, Philippines, Brunei, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, and Myanmar. Number 3. South China Sea is one of the world's busiest trout for international trade. India extensively uses the South China Sea region for import and export. India since 2014 has consistently argued in favor of freedom of navigation and overflight in the FCS region, amid China's territorial claims and creation of artificial islands. Number 2. The State of Art station will essentially help ISRO track satellites launched from India and receive data from them. Indian Defense Establishment will also get a strategic toehold in the South China Sea region, as the station can be used to track aircrafts and missiles in the adjacent region. India has reportedly spent about $23 million to set up the facility. Number 1. In response to India building its new satellite facility, Guzi Asong, an expert on Southeast Asian studies at the Guangxi Academy of Social Sciences said that, New Delhi's move to set up the satellite tracking station in Vietnam clearly indicated its attempt to complicate the regional dispute. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve. The SFC or Strategic Forces Command, sometimes called Strategic Nuclear Command, forms part of India's Nuclear Command Authority or NCA.